Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Brennan or Bpug. Welcome back to Destiny. Today we are playing the House of Wolves DLC, and we are at the Reef, which is the new social space in the game right now. And I'm looking forward to bringing you guys a lot of cool stuff in this, but I want to show you around the Reef right here, which I should have done this yesterday, but there was so much stuff going on and so much noise at my house. It was very, very unbelievable. So, you know, I, re I really do apologize for the past two weeks and weeks before this why I have not gotten really, like, anything up at all. Alright, so let's head over here right now real quick, and I'm going to show you first Petch Avenge, which is the Queen's Wrath Lady. Pretty much from her, you can get some bounties and all that. Queen's Wrath rank 1, 2, and 3. As you can see, rank 3, you have a Vestian Dynasty, which is an awesome pistol. I believe you actually should get this after the spoiler alert, spoiler alert, possibly. Um, I think it's like the second mission or something like that in the Queen's Wrath stories and all that. You should get this weapon right here if I'm correct. Otherwise, if you delete it or something or you don't get it, then you can buy it out of here. It's definitely a really, really good weapon. I want to actually show you mine right now real quick. And let's see. Do, 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 do. Here's the best thing about it. This weapon deals a small amount of bonus damage to fallen enemies. It's definitely, definitely extremely good, especially when you get the buff in the Prison of Elders for, like, secondary weapons and stuff like that, special weapons, whatever. Um, we also have right here Mutineer, which has a chance of suppressing a fallen captain's availability. Oh my gosh, abilities, not availabilities. <laughs> These captains have a lot of availability with trying to murder you, so... This is definitely really good. At least I would recommend having one person on your team if you're using these running the thing. But I, I like to use the bonus damage because who doesn't want extra damage and everything. So this is her right here. You can get your rep up right here by doing the bounties and stuff. These are Queen's Wrath bounties and everything. These got some, some pretty cool shaders here. I don't think it looks good with the Crota gear, which I still have them. Getting a new chest piece, I just, I literally, in my opinion, I, I don't like the crow to gear at all. That's that's just me, though. Uh, right over here is our good little buddy, Varix, the loyal house of judgment. Pretty much, when you run the prison of elders and stuff, you're going to get judgment and everything. I actually did pick up the hands last night, and I'm probably going to pick up the wolf slayer's claw as well. But I think what I might end up doing is getting the judgment's chance. Now, you might be asking, well, what is the judgment's chance? Well, this guy right here has different stuff every week, which means I, I think this stuff might change as well. But armor-wise and weapon-wise, you can sacrifice an armor and a weapon core, and you'll get a randomized one of these. It's not going to be either of these, because I was like, well, why would I buy this just to get one of these when I can just choose one and all that? Well, what this is, you'll get a random one from a different week, or that's not even out yet. He pretty much has every weapon that's out now I mean maybe even exotics too I don't know but that's from what my friend told me and that's what judgments chance will do for you he has some cool stuff right here and something I really really like is the special and the heavy ammo synthesis right here that he has once you're rank one I'm gonna get my rank one today and the heavy ammo synthesis just make it a lot easier for you and everything definitely he also has some ships down here and some pretty cool shaders there's actually a very very good amount and you have to get these tokens of identities to get them and tokens of flight to uh to get these right here so if we go in here in my inventory and i show you guys real quick i have a token of flight i have some tokens of identity right here that i've got and i also have the trials of osiris which we're going to get over to real quick next so let's head on over here first stop though um not really sure what this is all about yet that might be that trials thing for the weekend but right down here now i'm not sure if there's any other ones and all of that, if you go, do, 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 let me see, that might be one. Just want to double check this right quick. Okay, yeah, right down there, there should be a ghost on that little guy, maybe. Right there, there should be a ghost down on that bridge. Or no, no, it's this one, it's this one right here, okay. So right here, here if you um see that little thing hanging right there with the pipes on it and stuff, the frames, you can pretty much hop down right here you just gotta crouch in between that and there's a ghost right on the end so like I said I'm not sure if there's any other ghost in here there might be I haven't really got to look in but the first thing I saw when I was walking back this way was a dead ghost back there laying down there below chilling on this pipe so definitely pick that up for you guys um, if we go down here right now though this is the brother Vance the disciple of Osiris 
pretty much the um, Trials of Osiris, Osiris, whatever you would like to call it, are going to be a thing that happens on the weekends. It's like a weekly thing and all that, I guess. And you're going to get Trials Rewards. Two wins on a single Trials Passage will get you a stone tier, a bronze tier for three wins. Oh my, look at that. Eight wins, you get a gold tier prize. Really not sure what this comes with, but I'm guessing it's going to be like a weapon or an armor piece right here. But as you can see, you have to win pretty much like five in a row to be able to purchase this one right here. And also seven in a row to purchase this one. These are some really good weapons and armor. And pretty much, it's already fully upgraded for you too with 42 light, which is the really good part. So... You know, definitely, definitely do this on the weekends. It's easy, easy armor. And the armor looks uh, definitely pretty cool. The only thing I'm not really liking is just you're not really getting too much of bonus stats like some of the raid gear with these. It's just like extra ammo and stuff. But, again, more PvP oriented. And also you'll get, like, passage coins and all that you can earn. And I actually chose the one where I, I would get two wins if I won one. So it would be a pretty good and easy start. And... You know, that leaves you having to win two more for a chest piece. So it's pretty cool. But right here, as you can see, you get these and all that. So it's pretty cool. Awesomeness, awesomeness. And we're going to head back over here to the entrance right quick. Do, 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 do. So here's your postmaster right here in the rift. See him? There we go. And also, you're coming in here, you're probably like, well, where is my vault? Where in the heck is my vault? Here's your bounties, though, right here. Well, your vault is actually now a soda machine type of thing under here. A lot of people didn't see this when they first started, so this is your vault right here. You can uh, throw some stuff in it and everything, do some storage, storage wars and all that. But I would like to thank you guys for checking out this video and everything, and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more. Leave a like rating down below and a comment to show your support. And that is it. Peacing out and getting funky with it. Later.